Hansel, he who spoke about stress, he spoke about the thing called the general adaptation syndrome, which has three parts. The alarm reaction, the stage of resistance, and the stage of exhaustion. Alarm reaction means, now if someone dies or some close relative dies, we begin to cry and lament, grief and lamentation. That is the meaning of soka paridheva. Soka means grief, paridheva means lamentation. And then, that is called the alarm reaction. That means... We react in this way when that someone dies or something very unpleasant happens. Then the, if we keep on crying and lamenting, say for one month, and at that time people will not be even able to eat or sleep properly, if you are crying and lamenting for one month, what happens? Your body becomes completely sick and all kinds of pains come into the body. And not only that, even your mind is depressed. That is called the, age, the stage of resistance because you are resisting what happened. You are not willing to accept the death of your mother or your father or your brother or sister or whoever. And that is a stage of sickness in the body. And then if it still continues beyond one month, what will happen? You will be completely exhausted and as a result, you might even either commit suicide or you might automatically die. That is called the stage of exhaustion. And this is all in the words of the Buddha. Soka Parideva is the alarm reaction. Dukkha Domanas. Dukkha is the physical pain. Domanas is the mental pain. That is the stage of resistance. And then the last stage is upayasa. Upayasa means exhaustion, where you might even commit suicide or die. So this is really a very interesting thing that the modern scientists who are uh, explaining these things they are really talking about what the Buddha has been saying long time ago. So this shows that the teachings of the Buddha is so important and also it is a fact. It's not just a blind belief. So it is very important to understand these things and begin to practice these things so that you can be free from all sufferings of samsara.